those of you who heard, welcome back to Minecraft The Dungeons. Today, we are gonna be checking out a couple of things before we move on farther with the Creeping Winter DLC. First off, I got a new weapon here. This is the Jailer's Scythe. We got this in the level last episode. This is a 137 damage, binds and chains enemies, plus one soul gathering. This scythe belongs to the Terror of High Block Keep the Jailer. And then we also bought this by one of the new merchants. It's the Firebrand, uh, crafted in the blackest depths of the Fiery Forge and enchanted with Fiery Powers. I wanna try out both of these before we get started with too much today, just because I wanna see what kind of damage they can do. Where is, did they move the little thing where you fight the dummy? Where is that? <laughs> did I miss it? No, they must've moved it somewhere, huh? Cause usually there's like a little fighting test dummy. Aha, here it is. Oh, so this is this really cool fire damage. And then with the scythe, 137 damage a swing, but it's a little bit slower. I definitely wanna check out both of these. So um, for right now, we are also have our, um, was that the luxury merchant? It's not, um, I think up this way, the blacksmith. Yeah, we're working on improving that. Maybe in the meantime, I could also improve this one just for the fun of it. Sure, why not? I did also um, recycle basically everything else I didn't need right now. Um, so you maybe we'll keep with this because it does have higher damage and we'll check out some of the other potential upgrades for it. So we have Rampaging. After defeating the mob, there's a 10% chance to increase your attack speed by 50% for a short time. There's Looting. Increases the chance for mobs to drop consumables. And there is Dynamo. Adds damage to the next attack after rolling. I think I want that one. Um, we have critical hit, gives you a chance to inflict critical hit, stealing triple damage, swirling, the last attack in a combo performs a swirling attack, deal, uh, damage to nearby enemies. We already sort of have a swirl attack for this one, and freezing, I think uh, critical hit. So we'll try that out a little bit. We still have eight points left over and almost nine because we're about to level up. So maybe I could try this one too. Um, but maybe I'll just try out this weapon for a bit and we'll leave it like that. When it comes to armor, we have some upgrades here, like we have 41 for the Ocelot armor, but, and that adds faster roll and damage reduction, so nothing too major. We have Phantom armor, which adds a good, a little bit more health, souls gathered and ranged damage. So actually this would be great with the scythe, so maybe I could keep that for its own build. Um, this armor is crafted from the bones of phantoms, is a terrifying sight on the battlefield. Then we have the mystery armor, which we purchased. This has a faster roll, just like the Ocelot armor, but has chance to negate hits instead of damage reduction. Um. Honestly, looking at it, it doesn't seem that much better, but I wanna wear it for at least a little bit, just sort of take a look at it. Um, and we can reduce the damage taken, or we can get more soul gathering. I think the damage reduction seems like the most sensical thing to me. Um, anyways, yeah, with that being done, let's head back into um, the Creeping Winter and do the next level, which is the lo Lone Forest, or not Lone Forest, Lone Fortress, uh, Cold and Lone. An isolated fortress seems to be the source of the never-ending winter. Worst of all, from somewhere deep within those lon lonely ramparts, something terrible screams out with a rage and fury. We have to push forward through snow-covered hallways and collapsing towers to reach the heart of the storm. Sounds fun to me. Let's get to it. So it says recommended power is 50. Ooh. So this is below the, the minimum difficulty here for... Okay, you know what I'm gonna have to do then? I'm gonna actually have to change it back to default. That's sort of a shame, it's just because of how the minimum difficulty is set. Sort of a weird thing, it's like the recommended power here, 33, and then it goes to 51. Like, what a weird jump. But hey, there is a new potential armor we can find in this level, so let's get to it. So actually, I clicked the wrong one. <laughs> It's uh, 43, not 33, so that's much workable. So we do have a new armor here, we do have a new artifact, so yeah, it seems like a lot of fun. Uh, let's go check it out. But yeah, this one is just, we, we sort of made our way through several like, caves and villages in the last episode, so now we're finally at this um, giant fortress. Deep within the lonely fortress, a wraith, distorted by the Shard's influence, is the source of the creeping winter. The Shard must be destroyed before this wicked wraith can turn the world to nothing but ice and snow. Oh, oh boy. Your objective, find the source. Will do. All right then, so this seems like it could be fun. Uh, also, I didn't mention this before, but I did not notice this last episode, but we do get a new pet for this DLC. Last time we got the parrot, this time we get the Arctic Fox. Uh, that's one stone cold Arctic Fox. No, really, it's cold out there in the snow. It's very cute, so it's on us around now. They're just cosmetic like it says, so they don't really add anything in terms of gameplay, but it is adorable, and that's really all I need. Um, in this, we do only currently have one chest to find, apparently, but I'm sure there'll be more at some point or another. 
Uh, but yeah, we'll just be looking around and making progress with this level. Will this one be as long as the last episode was? I don't think so, but maybe. Yeah, having a fire axe, I feel like, is going to be very helpful. Um, oh, hoo -hoo. against these frozen enemies. So just couldn't have found a better time to get a weapon like this, right? It's pretty cool. Uh, so let's definitely just try to swing around. We're going to be getting level 49 pretty soon here, and maybe we can even push it to level 50 today. There it is, level 49. Enchantment point earned. Oh, that means I can already go here and upgrade that one more time. Awesome. So we have a lot to do in general, but I'm sure just today specifically. But this axe is working out really well so far already. What is going on over here? Gotcha. And not too much more. But as we learned at the end of last episode, there's still so much more to sort of accomplish and do now that we know um, how the merchants work. The more things we accomplish in game, the more slots for the merchants will unlock. So that is really cool. Um, and it really encourages you to play at higher difficulties, to replay through the game. It really gives a reason to grind things up. I feel like for the main game before these updates, it was a lot of like, hey, you know, grind for the fun of it after you beat the main game. You know, there's still cool weapons to get, there's a couple of secret levels to complete, but then after that, you're sort of done. Like, you can keep playing if you want, but there's no real incentive for it. Now I feel like there is definitely an incentive. And an easier way to get things that isn't just depending on random grinding. You can work up to things. Anyways, we got a button to press right here, and I don't quite know what it did, but maybe after we defeat these opponents, that one would probably fall. Yep, there we go. Okay, back over this way. Is this way opened up? You bet it is. I probably, oh my. Uh, <laughs> that's a lot of enemies. I probably wanna change up my my artifacts soon. I don't know if I want this poison one anymore. Anyways, more enemies are coming in. I did open up another door, which has an ice key for us. Nice. But I did miss out on a zombie over here. I'm trying to get every enemy after all. So let's make sure we deal with that. So what exactly are we doing with this? I think we just bring it up to that one checkpoint area. But yeah, so far so good. Gotta keep walking and here you go. Now before I deal with you, like I said, I got stuff over here to check out. Maybe it's just a pot, but definitely worth investigating. I picked up a heavy crossbow there. Probably not gonna use that, but hey, every weapon and armor and artifact that we get that we don't need, we get to you know exchange for gems or emeralds, so that's always good. It's a win-win situation. Okay, my character was very slowed down there. I do have fire arrows again, so I guess I should make the most of those. Can't quite get up there. Hmm. But from around this way, here we go. Gotcha. Oh, just about. There it is. Oh, we got that uh, damage potion. So let's find some enemies quick. Yeah, we don't have a ton of arrows right now, so I do have to be a bit conservative about that. So using the fire arrows where possible is always a good option. Swinging that fire axe around too. Ooh. The, the enemies I'm mostly worried about are the ranged enemies. Oh, here's an enchanted enemy. That's very good because remember, one of the um, merchant stores is upgraded by defeating more enchanted enemies. So doing that is definitely worth it. Oh yeah, and this guy like enchants them. So I think that maybe I should make the most of that, right? There we go. We're sliding all over the place on this ice. Okay. There we go. We're moving, oh my gosh, you gotta be careful, you might slide right off. Whoa, I don't like it. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Let's roll into here, get some people set up. That is a lot of enemies over there. Uh, definitely make the most of my fire arrows to shoot them right in the, into the crowd. Oh my, oh my. I might have made a mistake here. Oh, that's a lot, that's a lot. Okay, we got the illusioner attacking us too. I am scared. The illusioner's over this way. Let's get that shadow brew real quick and then boop, get them all stuck like that. Very good, actually. Oh, that was that illusioner again. This is where the fire arrows would be <laughs> really helpful. Trying to find out which one's the real one. Might have to wait for later though. Okay, fire arrows again. Okay, here he is again. Okay, pick up this food. There's so much going on, but we defeated most of the other enemies, which is nice. 
So it's really just him. Ooh, got him. All right. Hit me with your best shot. What do you got, loser? Yeah, this is a pretty cool new boss. I'm pretty happy with that. Don't tell me it was this one the whole time. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's always so hard to find the correct one. Okay, health. Thank you. Always when I think I found the right one is when I realize I didn't. <laughs> and as soon as I get the chance to like really attack him is when he disappears. What do you know? I feel like I had like extra fire arrows that time. That was weird. Here, go ahead and get rid of that group real quick. Oh, TNT. Oh, I got him. I got him. Okay, cool. <laughs> I was like, what happened? I guess I found them. Well, it eventually worked out. So what was my armor there? Ooh, hoo, hoo, snow armor. I'll take a look at that soon too. I don't think it's something I'm gonna switch over to, but it is new, so that's nice. I just appreciate finding all this new stuff, you know? Ooh, this guy has some gold armor on. Makes him a little bit tougher to defeat. Boom. And I immediately pick up a shadow brew, so I can just sneak up on you, a thousand damage on him. Yeah, it makes you do extra damage, which is great. There we go. Oh, there's some enchanted enemies over this way. Hopefully that gets them. Yes, it sorta of, kinda does. But yeah, I'm happy to be taking on enchanted enemies. Usually I'm a little bit afraid of them. Not anymore. I mean, they're still scary opponents, don't get me wrong. But now that I know that there's a reward in it just for defeating them, that's cool. And that just, that's really awesome. I hope that they add more to that idea of like, just getting things done in the game makes progress in other parts of the game in that way. It's not just, you know, experience or just weapons drop, but it's improving our merchants and stuff like that. Like, that's just really cool. And I think that's really what makes these kind of games can be, can make it super addicting. So I think that's a cool idea and they should keep rolling with it and expand it more. Now this room's looking a little bit more complicated, so we definitely want to try to explore all of it. Looks like there are some like side paths. Tried to throw a snowball at me, but I'm not letting that happen. It's like, what's over here? Anything? Nope. All right. Oh, we got an enchanted frozen zombie. Not anymore. And when they're all stuck in the hallway like this, actually much easier for me to deal with. Gotcha. But is there actually gonna be anything in this room for me? Nope. Not at all. All right. <laughs> well, I tried. Back over this way. Uh, yeah, we still have the other side to explore a bit. Okay, watch it, buddy. I think there's, ooh, a shortcut. <laughs> it would have been a shortcut if I wasn't silly, but I was. So let's grab this real quick, get a couple of emeralds out of it, because I'm still a little low. Actually, no, I'm not, 3,500 emeralds. Okay, so we actually have just as much as we had at the end of last episode, because I, I recycled a bunch of stuff. So that's really good. Make it some good emeralds then. Should be able to spend more at the end of today's episode as well. So what's in here? Got some enemies. Once again, not too big of a surprise. But this area actually looks like it has more for us. So let's go all the way down to the end. Hey guys, boom, gotcha. So actually maybe I should keep that because it's proven to be pretty helpful. And here's that one chest. Yep. <laughs> cool. I'm sure another one will show up sooner or later. They usually do, even if it says otherwise. It's just weird like that. Gotcha. See, I'm not too much down here, it seems. Actually, you have diamond armor. It's a bit of a threat, but we got you. And once again, another room with nothing in it. The game really likes that today. We'll grab some extra food. Well, I think that means we're all good just to sort of be on our way through the main path. Zip, right across there. Oh, and they're all waiting for me. Come on, you get over here, what are you running from? Ready, boom. Oh, I totally destroyed him with that one. Gotcha. All right, so far, so good. Because these levels are tough, but not too crazy tough, especially now that we're not on adventure mode, we're just on default, which I'm still like super not the happiest with. Oh my. Um, I would rather be on that, but the levels just weren't matching up. But hey, that's why it's good to try to focus on getting as many levels as we can this round, this level, however it goes. 
but there have certainly been a lot more enchanted enemies this time around. And that's really good. Because beyond that, we also have to defeat, I think, big mobs. I don't really know what constitutes a big mob, but that was one of them for one of the merchants. We had to, uh, I think one of them actually required us to defeat the Arch Elder on a higher difficulty. I don't think I'll do that on camera unless you guys really want to see it. I might just do that on my own at some point. So we're starting to build up our arrows quite a lot. I can use these a lot more. I've been sort of saving it just in case, but now we're getting a lot of arrows as we're moving forward as well. It looks like we have some opponents inside this little building. I feel like with this one, they're allowing us to go into buildings more often than they have previously in the level design. So that's pretty cool. It seems like with each DLC pack, the game really is getting significantly better. And it makes me really excited that hopefully there is more DLC. That's sort of where it gets a little concerning, right? Because I don't think they've con confirmed any more DLC after this one. Because right when the game launched, they confirmed the, um, the jungle one and this ice one, the winter one, whatever it's called. Um, but now, we don't know what's next after this. Luckily though, I know that there's a new Minecraft event. It's like Minecon, like Minecraft Live or whatever. That's coming up later this month. Maybe they'll announce more then. I'd be really happy with that. So that's what I'm hoping for. I think I gotta go this way, cause I don't know. There we go. Oh, oh, that was bad timing. No, and I'm super stunned. Gotcha. That wasn't too bad, was it? So far, so good. Now these guys, they gotta go. But yeah, I would love to see them announce more DLC just like this in different environments. I feel like they have to. It seems like they have a lot of ideas that they just haven't shown yet with like the unfinished nether portal and just like different biomes that we haven't even gone to at all in this game, you know? So I think there's more coming soon. There has to be, you know? But if there is, I'll certainly be playing it. It'd be cool if there was like some kind of arena mode as well. We can go against other players with your, your favorite combo and everything. Ooh, what do we get? We get more snow armor. And I guess that would have been a secret. No, just nothing counts as a secret anymore. It's a little weird. But that was not what I was expecting. I was expecting some kind of key, but I guess there could be one on the other side. What's back over this way though? Because it looks like there's a, some kind of platform over there. I can't quite reach it though. It might not be anything. Sometimes it's just like that. Get the gold key. I would love to. Let's get him this way. Oh my, lots of explosions. Okay, so gold key and a frozen key. So there's there's a couple of things that get done around here. Oh, there he is. Oh, I see. So if we can get the frozen key, we can make a path over to the gold key. Well, here's the frozen key, but not quite a clear way to get over to him. So maybe we gotta do something over here. Oh my, oh my. Well, this is leading me back to where I was. Oh no, I can get in here. Sure. But now we got all the enemies. Oh boy, and a lot of them. Oh, did I drop the key? I think I did, but the key is just gonna go back to where it was. Not too big of a deal. Oh my. <laughs> There's too much going on. I'll pick up the key later, I guess. Oh, or not. Now. Is that what I meant to do? But it just sort of happened that way. Oh, dodge it. I can't. There's too much going on. Gotcha. And is that everything? That is indeed everything. So I think I know what to do. Just open that up. There's a creeper waiting for me. We got him. Not a big deal. And that'll help us get the gold key, no problem. I'm gonna save that for a minute though, because we obviously still have more over here. Yep, right across this way. Oh no, we're locked back in. And also, like, I can only imagine that, like, story-wise, something must happen once we recomplete the Arch Illager's um, cube or whatever it is, because that's sort of what happened in the in the end of the main story, right? Is that the Arch Illager became a, a good guy, but then at the end we saw that cutscene where the orb that he was using that sort of corrupted him in the first place um, sort of 
shattered into like a bunch of pieces, right? Or something like that, I can't quite remember. <laughs> but clearly that's what we've been doing in the DLC, both in the jungle and here, we've been trying to get more pieces of the Illager Orb. So it's just sort of this question of like, what happens once we get it all back together, you know? There has to be something cool. So hopefully there's some kind of big story finale. There we go. And over this way we got a couple more things. So that area was fun. We haven't found too much in the way of uh, stuff. That's all right. See, now we should be good to grab that golden key and go down the main way. I don't think this level will be as long as the last one, but so far it's already going on for a good while. Stop the winter. Seems it's like too soon to stop the winter. Usually it's like three levels instead of two, right? Whoa, what is this guy? Oh my goodness. Defeat the Wraith. Oh boy, is this really the final boss of the whole thing? I wouldn't think so, but maybe. He seems pretty mean. Oh my. So we're just fighting him on the ice right now. <laughs> this is actually pretty crazy. I'm glad that we had this fire set up. It's sort of the best thing for it. There we go. Oh, that hurts. Oh, let's back it up. Dodging on the ice is not an easy feat, but I'm making the most of it. There we go, come on. Oh, oh, this is hurting him real good. Oh my gosh. That was nice. Keep at it, keep at it, keep at it. Oh no, I fell. Ooh. There he is, there he is, come on. Yeah. Yeah, you keep running, you keep running. Oh no, oh no. Wow, we got him so easy. Find the exit. Oh. See ya. <laughs> Do we get to keep his crown? I guess not, wow. That was, okay, I thought it was gonna be quicker, but that was quicker than I thought. This is a cool statue. This is like a like a person on top of the Ender Dragon. Here it is again. Huh. And that's it. Okay, this now level was much quicker. The race and the orbs Shard are dealt with, these tormented lands can begin to thaw. Wow, so that's the difference. The last DLC was three levels. This one's only two, but the first level was probably twice as long as your average level. That's so weird. Either way, there we go. The Lone Fortress completed, and as you can see, we get a chest for that. Ba -ba -ba. And it's gonna be the Ice Wand. The Ice Wand was trapped in a tomb of ice for ages, sealed away by those who feared its power. That's so cool, but also a bit concerning that it was so short. I'm a little uh, disappointed by that, but we'll be playing the uh, secret level for sure next episode, which will be the uh, Lost Settlement. I wonder if there'll be more than one secret level. I doubt it, there was only one secret level here. Oh, you know what, maybe I'm wrong. I guess there was only two levels and then the secret. Why do I misremember that? I don't know, I'm weird. <laughs> Sorry, but yeah, with that being said, Lost Settlement in the next episode, that was still a lot of fun, but a little bit of a disappointing ending. I think I liked the, the final boss of uh, the jungle awakens a little bit better. I thought that felt more serious and intense. This one was easy. It was really, really easy. I mean, I know I have a good level advantage, but even then it just seemed pretty basic. It just didn't seem as grand, but maybe that's just me. Either way, as you can see, we do have some new stuff here and to get more things, I need to rescue more villagers, but um, we got the soul knife, uh, which I don't think I need too much but it is pretty decent at 43. And we have the Totem of Shielding, which I also don't think I need. Well, good to see the options. And how are you doing? Because I think you need, yeah, three missions completed. We only have one. The Gift Rafter I can't do because we're just on our own. And then over this way, what do we got going on? With the Luxury Merchant. He is selling a hunting bow. Nothing, nothing too crazy there. Ooh. Random armor, power 43 to 49. Let me just buy that now for the fun of it. Grim armor, not too bad, not too bad. And I think that's it. Yeah, it's, it's interesting how they've sort of redone how the merchants work. I think it's a much better system and it'll be a lot more fun to unlock everything. But for right now, we'll check out our inventory and just sort of see what we can cycle through. Uh, when it comes to all this stuff, I think I'm good to salvage it. I like my current bow and it's still within an acceptable damage range. I think soon enough it might be worth upgrading. We'll have to wait and see. But here is our grim armor. And for this one, 44 defense, and of course it's going to have Souls Gathered, Lifesteal Aura. Hmm. I mean, it has more armor, but I think that like this would fit with my strategy I wanna do with um, the Scythe. I wanted to have this and the Scythe together, 
um, for its own strategy that maybe we could do next episode. So I think I'm gonna sell that. I think I'm done with this. I think I'm done with it. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and oh, get rid of it. Because this also does um, souls gathered. And this is snow armor, which we have a better version right over here. Uh, but snow armor is new, a suit of armor that was tempered in snow melt, protecting the wearer from the harsh cold of the tundra. It looks pretty cool too, I love the visual effect. So that has 334 health, 35% damage reduction, and 50% freezing resistance. Nice. Well, with the artifacts, we do have a new one here. This is the ice wand, which I'll just try out over this. Um, not quite sure how it works. Oh, that's so cool. So it works like the guys we've been going against. It makes like that giant icing over our heads, but it's exactly where the opponents will be. So I feel like that might be a bit difficult to time, but I definitely want to try this one more in the next episode. It sounds like fun. Um, I want to wait for it to reload one more time. Ready? Okay, so it's more about how I'm facing. I got to keep that in mind. Not just where I'm standing. Okay, I'll wait for a one more time for real. But yeah, that was a lot of fun though. I really enjoyed this DLC. I think that it, it has some advantages and disadvantages, but the update in general that I came with is great. So yeah, like I was saying before, hopefully they add more soon and we'll be playing that one bonus level next episode. But for now, let me do this one more time. Boom. That's a lot of fun for sure. So with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Minecraft Dungeons. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.